But I'm just going to start. Um, and it's called The Suffering of the King. And as I was coming to church this morning, I was thinking about the title. And I was thinking about most of us since work, you know, a lot of y'all are retired. And I was thinking about a few times in my life where I had a boss. You know, and that boss was really, really good. Um, she was very fair in her dealings. She was very fair when it came to promoting. You know, she was kind. You know, she was a Christian. And I truly believe that she prayed in her decisions making. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed my time with that particular boss. Mm -hmm. And unfortunate for me, she went elsewhere to advance in her career. Mm -hmm. Then I have been faced with other bosses that have been really, really horrible. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know, if they serve God, I couldn't tell. Mm -hmm. You know, and they were not fair in their dealings. And I had a choice. You know, I could stay and suffer mm -hmm. the abuse, mm -hmm. or I could leave and try to find another job. Mm -hmm. And depending on your financial state, oftentimes you have to stay right. and suffer. Mm -hmm. Then I was kind of like thinking about the, the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, as I was reading, you know, I kind of forgot that the, you know, the tribes were split. You know, mm -hmm. we have Judah mm -hmm. and we have um, Israel. Mm -hmm. And during this lesson period, they were in exile, just coming out of exile. And they were talking about how the kings that were over the kingdom before the exile, they were pretty bad. Mm -hmm. You know, they weren't certainly not doing the will of God, mm -hmm. and they had selfish, selfish motives. Right. You know, mm -hmm. it's all about what I could do to lift me up. Mm -hmm. It wasn't yeah. about the people of God, right. you know. It was political mm -hmm. motives mm -hmm. oftentimes, you right. know. And I thought, well, Lord, you know, that still goes on. Mm -hmm. But the thing that differs is they didn't really have a choice, mm -hmm. you know. They had to stay under that kingdom. Or that king right, under his rule. Mm -hmm. And God being the gracious God he is, yeah. he had enough. Mm -hmm. You know, he made a statement. He said that he's going to bring up, raise up a branch. Mm -hmm. You know, a new king, if mm -hmm. you will, off of the family of David. Yeah. And I thought about that. And I thought, wow, you know, God, he, gets, he allows things. I heard y'all talking about, mm -hmm. you know, Kind of, I'll just have to put it in my words that yes, I do believe that God raises up a particular situation and it looks evil and it looks sinful, but through that situation, God can still get the glory and Amen. use that person Amen. to bring about his righteous judgment. Amen. And I and I believe that's exactly what happens. Even through those kings, they were bad kings, but he raised up a branch mm -hmm. that was going to restore. Not everything was going to be restored in this <coughs> reading. You know, it's just kind of like a foreshadow, if you will. And then I thought about kings today. I said, I know the United States, we don't have a king, we don't have a queen, but England has a queen. Mm -hmm. And I thought the title really struck me, Suffering of the King. And I thought about the queen, if you will. We'll say a king as well. Mm -hmm. They don't really suffer, if you will. They have subjects mm -hmm. that really do the suffering. Mm -hmm. The subjects are the ones who work for them. You know, whether it's cleaning the castle, if they were going to war, I doubt if you're going to ever see the king on the front line. Mm -hmm. It's going to be his subjects, mm -hmm. you know, that are going to have to dodge the bullets mm -hmm. or dodge the, the swords, whatever, you know. Yeah. It's never really going to be the king. And then I, and I thought about how even... The taxes are not going to the people. Mm -hmm. It's going to the king and his kingdom or the queen and her kingdom. It's all about the royal family. Mm -hmm. You know, and in a way, we accept that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just how it is. Yeah. You know, the rich stay richer and the poor get poorer. That's how we just kind of accept that. Mm -hmm. But then I thought about Jesus. Mm -hmm. You right. know, the branch. Mm -hmm. You know, the King of Kings, mm -hmm. the Lord of Lords. Yeah, yeah. He came into 
this world not to be served, but he was to serve others. Amen. And I thought, well, that really goes against our thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? He lowered himself. All right. You know? He yeah. served. He suffered. Mm -hmm. And then the lesson goes on to talk about how, yeah, and y'all know the story. I heard pastors say how he went from judgment hall to judgment hall, you know, and yet the end result we could find no fault. You know, mm -hmm. but he was yet still considered yes. guilty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I heard Brother John kind of questioning about, the, mm -hmm. I guess it was about Pilate, mm -hmm. you know, and how he could find no fault, but mm -hmm. yet you condemn him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I thought about how um, even the Jewish leaders mm -hmm. who said, oh, you call yourself the king of the Jews, mm -hmm. save yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, they kind of mocked. King of the Jews. Mm -hmm. But yet we know Jesus did. All right. You know, it wasn't about him, it was about us. Amen. He never Amen. asked that out of his sight. Right. You know, it was not about his will. Mm -hmm. It was really God's will, and God's will benefits the people Amen. of God. Amen. And I thought, wow, Lord, that is nothing, it's nothing new. Mm -hmm. Not really. You know, we know that Jesus suffered, he died, he bled on the cross for our benefit. But for me, it was a reminder of how selfless mm -hmm. God is. You know, and how much he loved his people. That he gave up his own free will to do the will of God the Father. And throughout this whole lesson, suffering of the king, I know it's leading up to Easter, the resurrection and all of that, but like I said, it just reminded me of how much God loves us, how much he loves me, Amen. you know, and how selfless he is. It's a reminder for us today, even today, to remember mm -hmm. that it's not about us. Amen. It's about what we can do for the kingdom of God. Amen. So in a nutshell, that's pretty much what I got out of it. I felt like a very, very difficult lesson, mm -hmm. but I thank God he's faithful. And I hope